Hi, I'm Julie Hassan. Welcome to Everyday Dish. I want to show you how to make one of my favorite cranberry sauces, and it's just in time for Thanksgiving. Although you can enjoy it any time of the year, um, which is why I like to buy extra cranberries uh, you know, in the fall and put them in the freezer, and they're good for an entire year. So then when you have a grain for cranberry sauce, you have everything ready to go. Now the nice thing about cranberry sauce, homemade cranberry sauce, it is quicker to make than it takes you to drive to the store to buy it. And it tastes so fresh, it's so good, and really easy to make. So let me show you how to do it. Now you're gonna start off with a pot, it's usually a good place to start. I have some fresh cranberries, but you could also use frozen. And for the fresh ones, I just gave them a nice quick rinse in a colander. So I'm gonna put those in the pot. I have sugar, and you could definitely use organic sugar for this if you want to. And I have some fresh squeezed orange juice. I really like the flavor that it gives it. And then I have wine. Now I like to use a full-bodied red wine for this. I also, as you can see, I'm using tuba track um, because really you don't need to use a very expensive bottle of wine for this. Um, but use something that you would, you know, that tastes good to you to drink. You could use Merlot, you could use Cab, you can even use port wine. And then what we need is the juice and the zest from one lemon. So I'm just going to go ahead and zest it, which is just taking the outer yellow peel off and putting it in here, which gives it so much flavor because the oils from the peel are released this way. And it really, I mean, there's just, the flavor is amazing. Okay, so you just want to do that for the entire lemon. If you have another kind of zester, it's okay, you can use that too. Okay, now that we have those, we're going to slice it and juice it. I have my little handy juicer here. And put it right in. This is so good. I can't wait. The smell, I wish, I wish there was smell-o-vision already so you guys could smell how great this is. It almost, you know what, I, I think the reason I love this sauce so much is because it really reminds me of sangria. It's got all the flavors of sangria in it and the aromas and so I think that's part of the appeal. Now if you also happen to have an orange or tangerine, something like this, a mandarin, you could go ahead and put some of the zest of that in there as well because that would be really good. You don't want to increase the liquid though much more or else you'll have a really runny cranberry sauce. Okay, so now we have all of this. I'm going to take it over here to the stove. And then what you're going to want to do is over medium high heat, you're going to bring it to a simmer. And once it's at a simmer, we're going to reduce the heat and uh, to low, and we're going to simmer it for 10 minutes, and then the sauce is finished. I mean, how simple, how easy. No more canned sauces. I'm telling you, once you have homemade fresh, you're never going to go back. And you'll want to give the sauce an occasional stir every couple of minutes, um, just until it comes to a simmer, and then you're definitely going to want to stir it uh, pretty continuously the whole 10 minutes. Ooh, it smells so good. You'll see right before it starts to come to a simmer, it'll get all bubbly like this, and you'll start to hear the cranberries pop. And that's when you'll want to reduce the heat so that it doesn't you know, bubble up over your stove. And then that's when you'll give it a stir. You don't want it too low yet. You want to kind of keep it at that simmer. Okay, you see, you'll start to notice that the uh, cranberries will start popping open, and that's what you want because now they're starting to release all their pectin, which is what's going to start thickening the sauce. So it looks still kind of runny at this point, but in another, you know, five minutes or so, this will be nice and thick. I just love as all the color starts to come out of the cranberries. And if your pot looks like it's going to kind of be close to bubbling over, then you can just turn it down a little bit. Just kind of play with the heat so that it just stays at a nice light simmer like it is right now. The sauce is all finished now. It's nice and thick. Here, I'll carry this over here. 
And you can tell it's not thick, thick like it was a cornstarch pudding. So it's still a little bit runny, but it, it has really thickened. And what will happen is because there's so much pectin in the cranberries is once it's refrigerated, it'll thicken even more. So if you want it really thick, you could do it the day before. Or you can even do it two days before Thanksgiving. And it works out beautifully. And it's so good. I mean, this is the recipe that we make year after year. And uh, it's just a family favorite. So don't forget, um, this recipe and many, many other great recipes are up on our website at everydaydish.tv. And you can print the recipe right out, and you'll have it just in time for Thanksgiving. So go make homemade cranberry sauce. <laughs> You're going to be so glad you did. Thank you so much for joining me.